die to your sin. Whether you're living in homosexual sin, heterosexual sin, whether you're a liar, a thief, an adulterer, whatever kind of sin it is, friend, just recognize it as sin. Repent of it and turn to God. And God will have mercy upon you. God's calling you today, friend, because there's a day coming of justice. There's a day of judgment. There's a day of justice. There's a day when you'll have to go to court with God. God's saying today, get legal aid. Legal advice today is good. The gospel is legal advice. Legal aid is available to every sinner today. One day you'll stand before God's judge. God's judge is Jesus Christ the righteous. God offers you legal aid today. And God's offering it today, whether you're in the UDA or the IRA or whether you're gay or straight, it doesn't matter. God offers salvation for sinners. All kinds and all manner of sin can be forgiven unto men. God calls you today. Repent of your sin. Trust in the Lord Jesus and be born again. You know, the Bible is the truth. If we want to know the truth, the truth can set us free. We need to preach the Bible. We need to preach the Word of God. We need to stand for the truth in this hour. God wants the people that are going to stand. You know, we're preaching the Word of God according to human rights. You know, we're not committing a crime when we preach the Word of God. The Word of God's being preached for generations in this day and this hour. Article 9 and 10 of the Human Rights Act gives us the freedom and liberty of speech and association to stand in the streets and to preach the Bible and to preach the Word of God. Yes, that's why we're here today as a message. We're Christians. Christians are a hated people throughout the world because we stand for the truth. Christians are being murdered throughout the world in all, all different countries throughout the world because they stand for Jesus and they stand for the truth. The Bible says in John 8.32 that you'll know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Matthew 24 Jesus warned us of natural disasters, pestilences, earthquakes and famines in the last days. That's what the Bible says in Matthew 24. The disciples said to Jesus, what will be the signs of the end of age? Jesus said to be warned, earth of war, pestilences, famines, diseases and earthquakes in various places. He said these are the beginning of sorrow. We've entered into the time. We've entered into the age of sorrows. But he says, the end is not yet. Great tribulation is coming upon the world. And you say, peace and safety, self destruction will come upon them like women in travail, like a woman in labor. The far pains will start to increase and increase according to the word of God. We're seeing it in the nations today. The far pains are starting to increase. The sorrows are starting to increase. Jesus warned us in the word of God to pay attention. Let all they that have an ear, let them hear. Incline your ear, come unto me and hear. And your soul will live. That's Isaiah 18, 20. We need to incline our ear to hear the word of God. To hear the truth of God's word. To hear the truth about God's son. How God revealed himself in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to go through the cliff on the village. I want to go through the, the cross where the lost The one that went into Jerusalem. And they said, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. The one that wept in the garden of Gethsemane. The one that wept before he went to the cross. He said, Oh Lord, Father, there's another way. But he said, Oh Lord, let your will be done. He wept in the garden of Gethsemane where he knew what was coming. He knew he was going to go to the cross. He knew the cross was going to pour his wrath out of him. And he would come to sacrifice God, the Lamb of God. He takes away the sin of the world. The prophesied son who fulfilled biblical prophecies. The one that was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah 700 years before he was born. Born of a virgin in Isaiah 7, chapter 14. On the one that child will be born and a son will be given. In Isaiah 9, chapter 6. And the son will be upon his shoulder. Wonderful God of the Father. Prince of peace. Prince of 
prophesied son, the anointed son of God, the appointed one, the anointed son, the one that was and the one that is to come again, the one that rose again on the third day, when the